Hey everyone, in this video, I will be telling you the teams for MCC All-Stars and predicting which team will come on top. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button as it would help me out a ton and like the video for more content like this. I'm your host Andi and let's begin. First up, we have the Red Rabbits. Now this team is very cracked. We have Sapnap, the best S-tier player in Season 2. Dream, another S-tier player who is best at parkour and one of the best in PvP. George Not Found, a player who has still not been found. And Bad by Halo, the creator of Muffin Series. This team will be a very scary team. Although this is a very OP team, they do have some flaws, that being Buildmart. But besides Buildmart, this team will be good in every other game. If Buildmart gets played first or gets skipped, this team can break the point record, even if it's a non-canon event. I can definitely see this team in dodgeball. If they're in dodgeball, there is a 95% chance they win because of how insanely good three of them are with bows and dodging. This team will surely be a very good team to watch because of their overpoweredness and their chemistry. I see them doing the best in Sky Battle, Battle Box, Sands of Time, and Parkour Tag. Next up, we have the Orange Ocelots. To be honest, I don't see this team placing in the top half, but I would love to be proven wrong. We have Wisp and Solidarity Gaming, both winning in MCC 14. Smallish Beans, a player who has gotten better in the past MCCs, and FWIP, a part of the best winning team in MCC history, MCC 7's Green Guardians. With the right game order, this team can place high. I can see them doing good in games like Build Mart and Grid Runners. Next up, we have the Yellow Yaks. You might remember these winners from MCC5. This team is a pretty good all-rounded team. With Quig leading in PvP games and Scott leading in team and build games, supported by Shovel and CPK, this team will do insanely well. I could see this team in dodgeball. This will also be a really good team to watch because of their good chemistry and awesome vibes. I can see this team doing good in Grid Runners and Build Mart. Next up, we have the Lime Llamas. I think people might be sleeping on this team. We have Illumina, a newly declared S tier. I think, who is really good at speedrunning. SB737, winning his last event, that being MCC17, Sylvie, also winning her last event, that being MCC18, and Finster, also winning his last event, that being MCC16. The Illumina and SB duo can be scary. With Finster and Sylvie supporting the team, this team can do well. Although this is a good team, in my opinion, there are more teams who will do better than them. I see them barely getting out of top 5 in 6th place. Although this is my prediction, they have a big pop-off potential. I see this team doing well in Sands of Time and Buildmart. The last team announced on the first day is the Green Geckos. We have Cobfan and Grian, two very talented Hermitcraft players, Pizza Hut, the best player in MCC, and Raigai Rocky, a winner in MCC2 and MCC Pride. To be honest, I don't see this team placing high on the leaderboards, although I do see them doing spectacular in Buildmart. With the perfect game order, this team can place in the top half. I see this team doing good in Buildmart and Ace Race. Next up, we have the Cyan Coyotes. This team is very cracked. We have Pons and S tier, Jojo placing top 5 in her first event and winning MCC Rising, Blushy also a winner in MCC Rising, and Captain Puffy, a veteran MCC player. This team is another overpowered team. I can see this team in dodgeball as well. If Cyan and Red gets in dodgeball, the fight will be really intense and interesting. This is also a good all-rounded team. The vibes on this team will also be really good, considering how Jojo and Pons won a Bedwars tournament before, Blushy being teamed with Jojo in MCC Rising, and Captain Puffy won't have problems with talking to them as well. I can see this team doing well in Ace Race and Battle Box. Next up, we have the Aqua Axolotls. We have Cranios and Eret. Both winners in MCC 13, Bitzel, a winner in MCC 6, and Minimoka, a winner in MCC 2. I don't see this team placing high on the leaderboards as well, but with the perfect game order, this team can do decent. Again, I would love to be proven wrong. I could see this team doing decent in parkour tag. Next up, we have the MCC 9's Blue Bats. We have Fruit Berries, an S tier and the best movement player in MCC, H Bomb, a great MCC player with the H Factor, Paul Symmetry having 3 wins in MCC now, and pulling off a back to back win, a very talented Hermitcraft member. This team was an underdog in MCC 9 and it still somehow applies in MCC All Stars. Some people think this team won't end up in Dodgeball, but I think otherwise. Although, on my prediction, they are in 4th place, they still have a good chance of making it into Dodgeball. With the right game order, 
this team can do really good. I can see this team doing good in Build Mart and Survival Games. Next up, we have the first MCC winners, is the Purple Pandas, consisting of Dave, Michael McChill, Kara Corvus, and King Burren. This team did insanely well in MCC1, but I don't think they can replicate their performance in MCC1 to MCC All-Stars, due to the fact that MCC has greatly changed since the first MCC. Although this is the case, watching this team will be really fun and the vibes will be really fun as well. I can see this team doing decent in Sands of Time. Last but not the least, we have the Pink Parrots. We have Tommy, Filza, and Wilbur, three-fourths of the SBI, and Sabo, probably the hidden member of SBI. This team can do insanely well if Filza and Tommy's performances are like their performances in MCC Season 1. Backed up with Wilbur and Subo, this team won't disappoint. This team will be a very good team to watch as well because of their good vibes and chemistry. I can see this team doing good in Sky Battle and Battle Box. Now that I have shown you the teams participating in MCC All-Stars, let me show you the team placements based on statistics. In 10th, we have the Orange Ocelots. In 9th, we have the Aqua Axolotls. In 8th, we have the Lime Llamas. In 7th, we have the Purple Pandas. In 6th, we have the Pink Parrots. In 5th, we have the Blue Bats. In 4th, we have the Cyan Coyotes. In 3rd, we have the Green Geckos. In 2nd, we have the Yellow Yaks. And in 1st, we have the Red Rabbits. Now that I have shown you the team placements based on statistics, let me show you the team placements based on my opinion. In 10th place, I put the Aqua Oxalotls. In 9th, the Purple Pandas. In 8th, the Orange Ocelots. In 7th, the Green Geckos. In 6th, the Lime Llamas. In 5th, the Pink Parrots. In 4th, the Blue Bats. In 3rd, the Yellow Yaks. In 2nd, the Cyan Coyotes. And in 1st, the Red Rabbits. The top 4 teams in my predictions have the best chances in getting into dodgeball. If you have your own predictions and team placements, comment them down below. Don't forget, MCC All-Stars is on the 13th of November at 8pm BST. Be there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!